हेलो ईच एंड एवरी वन द वन हु इज वॉचिंग माई वीडियो दिस इज अंकिता योर कॉमर्स एजुकेटर वेलकमिंग यू टू ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन वे वी आर टेकिंग क्लासेस फॉर नेट एंड सेट एग्जाम प्रिपेरेशन इन टूडेज लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस टेन मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट और मोस्ट एक्सेप्टेड एम सी क्यू ऑन लीगल अस्पेक्ट यूनिट ये लेक्चर देखने के बाद आपको पता चल जाएगा कि एग्जाम में किस तरह के क्वेश्चन पूछे जाते हैं लेक्चर देखने के बाद अगर आपके जो सारे डाउट है ये क्लियर हुए या नहीं ये देखने के लिए हम आपके लिए लेकर आए हैं फ्री इवेल्यूशन टेस्ट ये टेस्ट देने के लिए आपको हमारा जो ऐप है ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन वो अपने प्ले स्टोर से डाउनलोड करना पड़ेगा जहां पर आपको ये लोगो दिखेगा डाउनलोड करने के बाद आपको उसके स्टोर में जाना है और अपना जो पेपर है यूजीसी नेट कॉमर्स पेपर टू वो सिलेक्ट करना है सिलेक्ट करने के बाद उसके कंटेंट में जाना है और कंटेंट में जाने के बाद आपको जो टेस्ट है वो मिल जाएगा ये जो टेस्ट है वो सभी स्टूडेंट के लिए फ्री है ओके और एक एक और एक इम्पोर्टेंट बात ग्लोबल ऑनलाइन आपके लिए लेकर आया है कॉमर्स पेपर टू कोर्स जहां पर आपको मिलेंगे कंप्लीट वीडियो लेक्चर मोर देन हंड्रेड वीडियो लेक्चर्स वी आर प्रोवाइडिंग यू नोट्स वो भी डिटेल एक्सप्लेनेशन के साथ टेस्ट सीरीज विद द डिटेल एक्सप्लेनेशन प्रीवियस ईयर पीडीएफ विद द डिटेल एक्सप्लेनेशन द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ द कोर्स इज वन ईयर और इसकी जो फी है वो इंक्रीज हो गई है और वो अब है सेवन थाउजेंड अगर आप ये कोर्स लेते हैं तो पेपर वन का जो कोर्स है वो आपको हम फ्री में प्रोवाइड कर रहे हैं डोंट वेट फॉर द लास्ट मोमेंट डू ज्वाइन अवर कोर्स एंड क्लियर योर अपकमिंग एग्जाम बीज ऑफ द फॉलोइंग डज नॉट कम अंडर डेफिनेशन इंफॉर्मेशन अंडर आर टी आर एक्ट टू In a given question, they ask you, given which does not come under the definition of information under RTI Act 2005. For this, the options given are log books. Second option is circulars. Third option is file noting in the process, and the last option is data material held in any electronic form. In the Right to the Information Act, that is RTI Act 2005, information means any material in a form of, including records, document, memos, email, opinion, advice, press release, circular, order, log books, contract, report, papers, sample, model, data material held in any electronic form, and the information relating to any private body. which can be accessed by the public authority under any other law for the time being in a force so this is the information about the rti act 2005 as per the explanation the log books circular and data material held in any electronic form will come under information under the rti act 2005 but the file noting in the process will be not included in the definition of information under the RTI Act 2005 that means the correct answer will be option number C which of the following is not an implied condition in the contract of the sale in a given question they ask you given which is not a implied condition in the contract of the sale here to answer this question you have to first understand what is a contract of the sale here the contract of a sale is an agreement between the seller and a buyer a seller agree to deliver or sell something to the buyer for the set price that the buyer has agreed to pay with this contract the transfer of the ownership happen when the buyer pay and a seller deliver for this the first option is condition as to quality or a fitness second option is condition as to merchantable quality third option is condition as to wholesomeness and last option is condition as to free from encumbrance so for this question option d will be the correct answer condition as to free from encumbrance is not in a implied condition in the contract of sale next question here is in a order that an agreement may be regarded as a contract it is a necessary to provide raise to the legal obligation which of the following agreement do not create any legal obligation okay so here in this they given you one statement and asks you given which is not a 
agreement which is create any legal obligation and for this the options given are social agreement a social agreement are a made between the friend are an and are made without an intention of being enforceable where the contract is of a social nature the law is assumed that both the parties did not intend their agreement legally binding then is moral agreement moral agreement and a promise are a very effective way to lead motive other people into forming the task without doing anything in the written then is religious agreement and last option is all of the above and the obligation or a duty which is not enforceable through the law it is not regarded as a contract social moral or a religious agreement do not make a any legal obligation for a instant an agreement to take a loan jointly or to go the picnic is not a contract because it does not make a duty enforceable through the law such a agreement are a purely social nature where there is no intention to make a legal connection and they do not result into the contract that means the answer for this question will be option number d that is all of the above in this question two statement are given first one is assertion and second one is reason what assertion say is a void contract should be distinct from a void agreement okay and for that the reason is a void contract is a void up in issue okay and for this the options given are both a and r are true and r is the correct explanation of the a second option is both a and r are true but the r is not a correct explanation of a third option is a is true but r is false and last option is a is false but r is true in case of a void agreement no contract come into the subsistence so such an agreement confer no right on any person and make up no obligation it is a void up initio that is from the very beginning for a instant an agreement with a minor is a void because a minor is a incompetent to the contract a void contract on the other hand was a valid when it was a enter into but subsequently because of a one cause or a other become a void a void may become a void due to the impossibility of the performance change of a law or some other reason the answer here for this question will be option number c a is the true but r is false the next question here is in case of a absence of a constant in the contract the contract is in a given question they ask you in case the absence of a constant a contract is the options given are valid second option is voidable third option is void and last option is illegal in case the constant is not a free the contract is a voidable at the option of the party those constant was not free but in case there is a complete absence of a constant the agreement is void up in issue that is it is not enforceable at the option of either party that means the answer here will be option number c in case of absence of a constant in the contract the contract is void the next question here is where one of the party to the contract is padanishi woman the contract is presumed to be induced by for this the options given are caution caution is a complying a party to act in an involuntary manner by a use of threat including force second option is undo influence undo influence is a psychological process by which a person free will be supplanted by that the another it is a legal term and a strict definition varies by the jurisdiction then is fraud fraud can be committed through and across the many media including the mail wire phone or a internet and last option is misrepresentation in common law jurisdiction the misrepresentation is an untrue or a misleading statement of the fact made during the negotiation by one party to the another the statement that 
inducing that other party to enter into the contract. So before I tell you the answer, do you know the meaning of Pardhanishi woman? So here the Pardhanishi means hidden behind a veil or a screen. It refers to the woman who practiced the seclusion. The ground on which the doctrine is established is that such a woman are less conscious and can be easily influenced with a very little external manifestation. Okay? This rule is not limited to only to the well woman but it is also extended to those women who are not technically pardanishin but are a illiterate or a old or a sick. The principle on which the protection by a law is a, accorded to the Pardanishi woman is based on the equity and a good consequence. So here the correct answer for this question will be option number B that is undue influence. The next question here is when an agreement or a contract become a void, a person who has received any benefit or a advantage under such an agreement or a contract necessity restore it or a compensate for it to the person from whom he received it. Okay. This term as and the options given are novation. Here the novation means the substitution of a new contract in a place of old one. Second option is restitution. Restitution means return or a restoration. When a contract or a contract become a void, a person who has received any benefit or a advantage under such agreement or a contract necessarily restore it or a compensate for it to the person from whom he received it. Third option is rescission. Here the rescission is equitable remedy which allow a contractual party to cancel the contract. Party may reset if they are victim of waiting factor such as a misrepresentation, mistake or a under influence. And the last option is caution. Caution is a complaining a party to the act in an involuntary manner by a use of threat including the force. Here the correct answer will be option number B that is restitution. Next question here is what damages are avoided in case of a breach of a contract where there is only technological violation of a legal right but no substantial loss is a cause thereby. For this the options given are first option is exemplary. Now what is exemplary? Exemplary are the plan to illustrate the court strong disapproval of the conduct of the defended in committing the wrong. They are not proportionated to the actual precautionary loss substance through the aggrieved party but are inflicted through the method of the punishment. These are normally awarded in case of breach of a promise to the Mary or wrongful dishonor of a check through the banker. The measure of a damage in case of a breach of a promise to marry is a dependent upon the of the stock to the sentiment and the goodwill of the promise. Second option is nominal. Nominal damages are awarded in case of a breach of a contract where there is only technical violation of a legal right but no substantial loss is called cost thereby. The damages granted in such a cases are described the nominal because they are very little, say a rupee. Third option is ordinary and last option is special. As per the explanation, you might understand what is the correct answer for this. The correct answer will be option number B that is nominal. The next question here is a delivery of keys of go down where the goods are a lying or a transferring the base of a lending or a railway receipt to the buyer amount to and the options given are actual delivery. Now what is actual delivery? Actual delivery refer to the surrender of a control or a possession of a property by the vendor and the assumption of a possession by a vendee. Second option is constructive delivery. 
when a person who is in a possession of a goods acknowledges to the hold the good on the behalf of the buyer is amount to the constructive delivery third option is symbolic delivery in case where the goods are a bulky and a heavy and it is not possible to physical hand them in a access to the buyer some symbol which carries with the real possession or managed in the access of a good is a handed in a access to the buyer for a instant a delivery of a key to the godown where the goods are lying or a transferring the bills of a lady or a railway receipt to the buyer amount to the symbolic delivery of the good and the last option is none of the above the correct answer here is option number c that is symbolic delivery next question here is section 8 of the companies act 2013 deal with here they are asking you about a section 8 under the companies act 2013 for which the first option is government companies government companies is a company in which a government or a state government hold a 51% or a more of a paid up capital second option is dormant cap companies dormant company is a excellent opportunity to start a company for a future project or hold an asset intellectual property without having significant accounting transaction third option is charitable company charitable company means a company form and register under the company act 2006 or one which a provision of the act apply and which is a essential for the charitable purpose and last option is nidhi company section 8 of the company act 2013 deal with the formation of a company which are a form to promote a charitable object of the commerce arts science sport education research social welfare religion charity protection of a environment etc such a company intended to apply its profit in promoting its object and prohibiting the payment of any dividend to its member so the answer here for this question will be option number c that is charitable companies so in my yesterday lecture i asked you one question the question was a contract act 1872 consists of how many section for this the correct answer is option number a that is 238 okay the contract act 1872 consists of a 238 section please remember this the last question here is a petition to the tribunal for winding up company is presented by and the options given are the company second option is any cont contributory or a contributors third option is the registrar and the last option is any of the above please answer this question i am waiting for your answer please write your answer in the comment box till then keep watching keep studying